Now that we've made it to the middle of December of 2023, I can safely say that out of all the books I have reviewed this year, and we're at around 90 at this point, the one book Satan would not want you to read is Prayer Works by Brother Andrew. This is the book that Satan would want you to ignore, not to read, or just pretend this book doesn't even exist. I mean, there is some serious work by the forces of darkness that are meant to keep this book out of the hands of believers. Prayer Works was first published under the extreme title, And God Changed His Mind, as this is a book about how God changes his mind in response to the prayers of his people. And the idea of God changing his mind, while explicitly found in Scripture, that's just a little bit too much for a lot of Christians. It's just too odd to comprehend. And I, and I think that that extreme title hurt the book's marketability. The publisher then changed the name to Prayer Works, which took the book from being too extreme to too boring. Of course we know Prayer Works. Not that we actually pray as if it works, but it's in our church doctrine. And then the bland title led to the book being passed over again. And I think the hot and cold title led to this book being mostly forgotten. And like the ring of power in the Lord of the Rings, which was lost for ages from the generation of man and forgotten, this is a book no one in the church should have forgotten. So let me tell you why you should go out right now and purchase and then read Prayer Works by Brother Andrew. Welcome to Rev Reads. If you want to discover more books that will help you to inspire your prayer life, please subscribe to the channel in order to stay up to date with my most current reviews. Also, please like, share this video with others to help them know about the works of Brother Andrew. And I also want to thank the Buy Me A Coffee members whose support allows me to cover the costs of keeping Rev Reads going and producing new reviews. And I would love for you to consider supporting the channel at only $3 a month. Brother Andrew's book, God Smuggler, the narrative of his miraculously enabled Bible smuggling operation into the Soviet Union, that book was a joy to read. And Prayer Works... This is the ideal follow-up to Brother Andrew's best seller. How did Andrew make it through all those security checkpoints, driving in and out of the communist territories? How did he continue to boldly take the gospel and the word of God to other place, to places where other Christians would never dare to tread? What was Andrew's secret? The answer? Prayer. And for Brother Andrew, there was one key to prayer. You must believe prayer makes a difference. We need to believe that prayer changes the mind of God. We are not to pray as a Christian fatalist. He accuses many Christians of praying like Muslims, believing that God has faded and planned out the world and everything that will be, will be regardless of our input. Whether we pray or not is determined not by us choosing to come before God in prayer, but it's because God want, wanted us to pray more or less in his plans. But as Brother Lawrence writes, we can through our own faith and our prayers, lift the world off its hinges, if only we will. Why can we do that? Because God didn't make us as puppets or animatronics to simply act as we were programmed. He created us with a will and with the ability to make independent choices, and God promises to respond to our choice to pray. As Brother Lawrence wrote, God's plans for us are not chiseled in concrete. Only his character and nature are unchanging. His decisions are not. And then Brother Lawrence shows the reader again and again how God had plans, and then he changed them in the Bible as a result of the prayers of his people, of the prayers of Moses to the prayers of the Ninevites. And God also set up plans that depended on our future choices. 
Plans where he would bless us if we obey and follow and pray, and plans of cursing if we disobey and go our own way and worry instead of praying. Those who are on the Lord's side are not the fatalists who believe God has set out our lives and we need to follow the plan that he has for us and we have no other option than to do what he has planned out for us. Instead, those who are on the Lord's side are those who choose this day and every day to serve him. And the way we come to God in service, first and foremost as his people, is through prayer. Now, the bulk of this book is dedicated to how do we pray in light of knowing that our prayers have real-world consequences. If God truly responds to the prayers of his people, there is nothing more powerful and at the same time really nothing more daunting than prayer. So Brother Lawrence follows patterns and instructions in the scripture to show us how to pray in light of the great importance of prayer. The first thing we need to know is that we should pray boldly. We come calling on God to change his mind, change the course of these days, break in and open hearts and minds to believe the gospel, raise up laborers and recognize that when I'm consistently praying for God to raise up laborers, I may quickly discover that laborer is me. Because if you think about it, who are the laborers that God is going to look for to serve in his field, especially in the most important places to have witnesses in this world? God's going to want the workers to be those who pray with boldness. And I also really appreciated his teaching on Gideon's fleece. I was one of those Bible teachers who kind of belittled Gideon for what he did. When he laid out that fleece on the ground and looked for it to be dry when the grass was wet. And then when God at, answered that first prayer, he said, oh, God, can you can you do the reverse? And I, I, I've mocked Gideon for his lack of faith and his unwillingness to believe. And I've told people, don't follow in Gideon's path. But Brother Andrew had a different take. I believe God expected Gideon to be skeptical because he had every reason to be. And he was fully prepared to meet the skepticism with whatever confirmations Gideon wanted. And what I love about this teaching is because I think we are tempted to think, powerful prayer is not for me. You see, see, I'm not, I'm not a Corey Ten Boom or a Brother Lawrence or George Mueller. I have too much doubt. I, I have too much skepticism. Well, Brother Lawrence says, then bring that doubt and skepticism to God in prayer. Ask him to remove your doubt. Ask him to bring something into your life that will so shake you up that you will know without a, out a shadow of a doubt that prayer has power. And then that will inspire you to come before God and ask for something so much more than that my clothes will stay dry if I lay them out in the backyard overnight. And then we can be like Brother Lawrence. The man who began a nine-year prayer journey that ended with the collapse of the Soviet Union. Ask Brother Lawrence why the Soviet Union fell, and he'll tell you it's because he prayed for it. It's because he and other Christians prayed for God for nine straight years, and God answered that prayer. So we're encouraged in this book to pray for the nations. And we pray for the nations by praying for not only entire nations to be filled with people who place their faith in Jesus as Savior, but we want to pray for specific individuals that we know to come to faith in Jesus Christ. For God to move them into places and situations where they will hear the gospel and respond. But do not pray with a timid heart, where if Jesus answers your prayer, you're going to be like, oh, I'm not sure if that happened because I prayed or didn't pray, but pray with boldness, pray with courage, pray with faith, knowing that the reason things happened is because you prayed and God answered. Be like Elijah and pray, knowing that our God can do the impossible. And Brother Lawrence also encourages us to make sure that we're praying, that we also pair that with getting to know God. 
So we fellowship with God, we listen to his word spoken back to us, we're involved with his people and his church, because one thing we want to do when we're praying is we want to pray in line with the character of God, because we need to remember God will never answer prayers that go against his character. And so we need to make sure that we're praying in line with what God's will is as it is revealed in scripture. And I got to say, I think the best testimony you could give to a book like this is that since I've read this, I've been praying more. So if you want to pray more, you need to read Prayer Works and allow Brother Andrew to encourage you to see how God can work in your life through the prayers that you deliver up to him today.